hello guys welcome to c learning with new video in this video we will learn about uh, how to create virtual system in huawei firewall because we have this huawei firewall here we create a virtual system we will break this firewall into two virtual systems and uh, then we will use it for uh, communication we use one virtual system for one network and other uh, virtual system for uh, other networks so these virtual system will act as a separate firewall for uh, network enterprise so uh, let's go toward the confusion first uh, we will build this topology suppose uh, we have this uh, firewall so we will break this firewall into two virtual system one would be the public which is the original one and when we create a one virtual system so will uh, this firewall will uh, break into two parts one in virtual system and one will be the original the public firewall uh, which exists so we go with this topology so here we have a network and uh, this this is the original firewall we will take this firewall with two uh, uh, into uh, virtual firewall which with this would be the public firewall which is the original and here we create our one virtual system in it and this virtual system will act as a gateway to protect uh, uh, this network enterprise network to go over the internet so we will create uh, uh, communicate this virtual system with this public firewall and then it go to a uh, carrier gateway for the uh, internet so let's go uh, toward the configuration so first of all uh, we go in uh, firewall let's go here in firewall so we use this uh, ip addressing scheme so uh, so as you know the password is admin and the default password uh, predefined password is admin with capital a admin at the rate one two three so it firstly it will uh, ask you to change the password so it just and type original password admin at the rate one two three and then you can type the new password admin at the rate and typing the new password so i am uh, writing this as here as uh, the by default username is admin password is admin at the rate one two three so after change i uh, reinter part uh, retype password as admin at the rate one two three with small a so let's go in device and here we first of all we change the name of firewall as a system name as a firewall which is the, uh, the firewall public firewall hardware so we will name this as a uh, firewall so we are in global view of firewall so first of all we have to enable the uh, virtual system so uh, we sys enable we have a command we sys enable so the virtual system has been enabled now you have to go in virtual system and assign the port that what port you want to assign to that virtual system so we will separate the port first so let's go so we have to go uh, we have to name a virtual system so we sys name so here you can name the uh, virtual system that you want to create so i am uh, creating as a firewall so v virtual sorry virtual firewall one one so this is my so uh, here I will assign an interface that uh, by default all the interfaces exist in a public firewall which was the original this global firewall all the interface exists in a public firewall so we have to import that uh, uh, interface that we want to use in a uh, virtual firewall so we have to assign this interface assign uh, interface giga 0 slash 1 slash 1 slash 0 slash 0 so all the configuration if you move from global to this virtual firewall so all the configuration on this interface will be removed so you have to re-enter the configuration as required in that virtual system so uh, <coughs> here as you see in topology we separate we break this firewall with uh, public firewall and we create a virtual system a and the virtual system we assign this uh, uh, interface from firewall which was the 00100 this interface to virtual system a so we uh, uh, give this uh, interface giga uh, 1 slash 0 slash 0 to firewall a which is which was the, this interface of firewall so here i'm creating a okay no fill. so i'm creating here suppose we break this firewall with two firewall one this one what is this so this one is the original one and here this one is a 
this one is the original firewall which is his name is firewall and this one is a firewall virtual sorry virtual firewall one so its name is virtual firewall one that we create so we create two and we uh, on this side we add this interface g001 in this firewall virtual firewall one and all the remaining interface exist in firewall this firewall was public so let's move uh, toward next configuration so first of all you have to assign the interface that you want to enter so let's go back so let's go back in original firewall now we are in original firewall which was the public we have to first configure the public uh, firewall so first of all we have go in interface giga 1 slash 0 slash 0 1 so this interface 1 slash 0 slash 0 which is on this side firewall side public firewall so it exists in public firewall so we give the ip address to this interface as a ip address as 1.1.1.1 and 24 and then we go in a uh, virtual interface so uh, here you can see in uh, uh, so this uh, picture that uh, when we uh, break this firewall so firewall create a virtual interface uh, with uh, it that uh, now here we break this two firewall so on this side uh, there is the oh yes okay on this side of firewall this interface exists this is the 1 slash 0 slash 0 which is the uh, physical interface but on this side it will create a virtual interface virtual interface its name would be uh, vlan 0 so i am uh, give the name so from here side this is the virtual firewall so its physical interface that we assign that uh, giga 1 slash 0 slash 0 is the part of this virtual system so it's it will be here and from on this side which is facing toward the pub, uh, this firewall and this original firewall uh, facing interface uh, toward the virtual firewall is these two interface are virtual interface understand so its name would be this firewall is this interface is giga 1 slash 0 slash 0 which is a physical interface and uh, this interface which is the, this firewall the v firewall one interface name is virtual interface virtual interface 0 oh sorry 1 and the public and this firewall which is the firewall its virtual interface name is virtual interface 0 by default the original firewall which is the global uh, its virtual interface name would be 0 and all the other uh, interface which will, you will create uh, their name would be if you create a one virtual system so its uh, uh, name would be uh, virtual interface 1 if you create two sys system so the second one has a virtual sys uh, interface 2 and if you create three uh, virtual systems so uh, their third virtual interface name would be T but the original firewall which which is the global and the original firewall its virtual system name would be 0 because this is the original firewall so all the other we are breaking and uh, making the virtual system from the original so uh, this interface is 1 slash 0 slash 1 which is uh, this one interface so uh, we are implementing this topology so its virtual system also uh, virtual interface also has been created which is facing toward virtual system this virtual firewall which we create so here we have here we give the ip address on the g1 uh, 1 slash 0 slash 1 and here we ha also have to give the ip address to uh, virtual system you can use any network so uh, here we use uh, on virtual interface virtual interface 0 interface for 12 interface 0 we use 172.16.1.1 and on interface for 12 it can be spelling mistake here virtual interface 1 we use 172.16.1.1 1.2 so we use this ip address in virtual system so let's go so here i will go in virtual system interface virtual interface sorry virtual interface of uh, this public firewall is zero if you question mark so it will show you you can create uh, 4095 virtual systems so uh, in firewall 
so here the first one because this is the public and the global firewall so it's uh, virtual interface name would be zero so you can't change the uh, virtual interface name because it's by default so here we give the ip address as well ip address 172.16.1.1 and 24 so now we go so here you already know that uh, the interface uh, this rune okay as you know uh, this zone of firewall this side this side of firewall is a untrusted side and this side of firewall is a trusted side because this side is facing to internet so this would be untrusted and this side will be trusted so uh, in uh, this uh, global firewall so this side is a untrusted side e1 slash 0 slash 0 is facing to internet carrier gateway so this is a untrust but its virtual interface 0 is facing to our enterprise network side so this is our trust interface and uh, same here the virtual firewall 1 its interface virtual interface 1 which is facing to carrier network is a untrust side but its interface which is facing to carrier which is uh, g1 slash 0 slash 0 this is facing our interface side so this is a trust uh, trust zone so uh, I, this is accordingly we configure here so here we go in firewall zone trust so which interface of public firewall is facing uh, uh, enterprise network which is trust lan network it is interface sorry here we use a command add interface virtual interface zero so this is our trust so if we go in untrust firewall zone untrust so we add here the interface giga one slash zero slash one which is the this global firewall this interface which is facing to the uh, area side so let's go so here we create zones now we go for the uh, ip routes so we have to create the ip route so ip route static we create a default route sorry routes take to zero slash zero slash zero slash zero and zero so uh, what is the uh, if you want to go on internet which is the default route so go through this interface so the uh, we are here so its next stop would be this one so we are here so we are uh, leaving this uh, from this interface one slash zero slash one its next stop is this one uh, this carrier's gateway so its ip is one slash zero slash one 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 dot one dot one dot two fifty five two fifty four sorry two fifty four so here we also give the uh, this firewall route to go on enterprise network which is the LAN side so here we give a network that so here you can see here this is the uh, network so if you want to go on network ip route static we want to go on network 10.1.1.0.24 go through virtual system a sorry virtual system go through so here we are giving that if you want to go on this side go through this its next hope next stop is this this interface because these two interface are connect directly connected this is the public uh, firewall interface virtual interface zero and this uh, is the vsys virtual system a which uh, we created as virtual firewall one its interface virtual interface one so these two interfaces of uh, virtual interface are connected to each other so uh, so uh, its next stop from here its next next stop is this one this one virtual uh, interface one so its next stop is uh, 24 and what was we created as vpn sorry so this command is necessary to give the because it's the virtual instance virtual firewall so we use we have to use this command virtual inter so uh what so here is virtual firewall one this is the virtual instance or virtual uh, firewall name that we created so just enter so here you uh, give the uh, route static routes so you can use any uh, routing protocol as well so here the last thing is the security policy so you have to secure, you uh, create the security policy in a public interface so here you uh, create rule name it's uh, going from trust to untrust from this side to this side so uh, we use e to trust to untrust so this is our policy so here we select that the source zone is a trust zone 
this because this this side is a trust side we are in here in uh, fw firewall public firewall so our this size is trust and this size is un untrust so our source is this side so our source is a trust trust our destination is untrust untrust our source address is source address if you want to give the source address or a lan network or enterprise network address you can give so our source address is 1.1.1 .1 .1 0 and 24 so this is our source address and then we have to uh, select the action action permit action permit so now we go back now we have to create an other policy from untrust zone to trust zone so we create a rule name rule name untrust to trust zone so here our uh, from untrust uh, uh, trust side so our source is now untrust zone so our source is source zone is untrust destination zone is trust so here you can select the destination address that our destination address must be this 10.1.1.0 and 24 so we are uh, specifying it if you don't want to specify uh, doesn't matter but if you want to uh, specify that our your uh, destination network means the lan network so it's good practice to you have to give the uh, dedicated uh, network subnet so uh, it's uh, good for uh, uh, security purpose otherwise it will select automatically all destination all any address uh, that uh, ip and subnet exist in enterprise network it will go for it but if you specify that only go for this one so it will go for this so it's good practice for security purpose then we have to uh, select our action action permit and then quit now we configure the firewall in a public system so this public firewall so now we go in virtual system uh, one this was the virtual system virtual firewall one and then we do the same things we create a interface add those interfaces in a public or uh, uh, sorry trust or untrust and then create a security policy and then we will give the routes and then uh, we will go for the communication so let's go in virtual system so next we 